Well, it's nice and quiet in here, isn't it? Are you all right, J.R.? No, I'm not all right. Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused? What are you talking about? James. What about him? You're worse than I thought. You lulled me into complacency using that marriage counselor so you could buy time to turn James against me. That's not true. You made that bed, not me. You encouraged him to be independent, to stand up against me, to spurn the all business for one harebrained scheme after another. And by doing that, you pushed him straight into the arms of that money-hungry little monster, Michelle Stevens. And now he's going to marry her. James is going to marry Michelle? He just told me. Why couldn't you have left him alone? Why couldn't you have let me teach him some, some sense instead of filling his head full of crazy ideas? But I didn't. His family's a shambles. It all started when you followed me from Haleyville and tricked me into marrying you. You wanted me for your wife. You just didn't know it. I wanted a wife that was going to bring peace and harmony to this family. I didn't expect a wife that was going to push my son in the arms of a she-devil. I think Michelle is the worst woman in Dallas. Maybe I can talk to him, change his mind. Too late. Damage is done. Oh, it was a sorry day when you first set foot in this house. <laughs> you don't believe that. I do. You just cost me my firstborn son. <laughs> oh, good you're there. She's primed. Call here in about five minutes on the private phone. Yeah, and don't hold back. Pull out old stops. She's right on the edge of the cliff. It's finally happened, hasn't it? I was gonna say goodbye, Luz, but I just can't do it right now. I'm too upset. Do you hate me for leaving? Kelly, I am so sorry. I knew it was just a matter of time. Oh, that bastard. It's not just him. It's both of us, really. I find that hard to believe. Anyway, I think you are incredibly brave. We'll stay friends, won't we? I mean, we have to. You bet we will. I've had some good memories in this house. It's so hard for me to imagine leaving it forever. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I know you'll be much happier this way. John Ross, I have to go. Why? Your daddy and me aren't getting along too well. It's so complicated. It'll take so long to explain. Dad! Dad, make her stay. Tell her how much we love her. John Ross, I'm... Make her stay, Dad. Please. Kelly, I didn't mean anything I said, darling. Please don't go. Do you mean it, JR? Yes, darling, I truly do. I don't know how I could have accused you of standing between me and James. 
I guess I was upset over that little tramp, Michelle. Uh, I don't blame you at all. Do you want me to stay? With all my heart. See, Kelly, this is your home. And everybody here really loves you and really wants you to stay. Dad loves you. You feeling better, son? Yeah. You promise Callie's not leaving? Well, she told you herself she wouldn't leave. It's just a little misunderstanding. It happens between married couples all the time. I guess I didn't realize how much you cared for her. I do. I really like Kelly. You know, I'd never do anything the world hurt you. I know. Well, you get some sleep. See you in the morning. Good night. John Ross all right? Yeah. Since you told him you're not leaving. Kelly, I want to thank you for changing your mind. And I'm truly sorry for what I said. I hope you mean that. But I can't help but wonder what would have happened if John Ross hadn't come after me. Well, if he hadn't, I would have. Well, you know I want this marriage to work. That's what I've been trying to do. And I'm going to keep trying, as much for John Ross as for you. I love that little boy. I know that. It means the world to me. But I've been thinking, if you ever do something like that again, I am going to leave. And I'm not going to sneak out like I did tonight. I'm going to let everybody know I'm leaving, and I'm going to let them know why. So if this marriage doesn't work, it's not going to be my fault. I think everyone will understand that. Just remember, you've been fair warned. And one more thing. Who's that woman who called here tonight? Oh, Lord, is she calling here now? Did she tell you that we were supposed to have a meeting at some hotel? Yes. How on earth did she get my private number? Darling, it's just some crazy woman who's been bugging everybody at the office to have a meeting with me. I got the telephone company and the police working on it. I tell you, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to have my private number changed. She won't be calling here anymore. She'd better not. 